What's up guys, it's your boy Nikki Rod with B Team Jiu Jitsu. And today we're here in Las Vegas, Nevada, training at Syndicate MMA. Everybody's uh, looking strong, fast, and technical in preparation for ADCC trials. And now let's get to training. All right, so pretty much we, uh, we're out here in Vegas, you know, training. Everybody's looking great for competition. Um, in preparation for ADCC trials, you know, we've been, uh, we've been really looking forward to this moment. You know, uh, a lot of our up and coming students have been really working hard and, uh, and working towards their goals. And it's going to be nice to see it pay off in competition. Uh, for me, I came out here just to coach my guys. Um, I had some podcast stuff to do and, and some social media ordeals to handle. But now, uh, you know, we're just training. We trained today at Syndicate MMA in, in Las Vegas. And honestly, it was great training. Um, the team was very, very welcoming. It was a homey vibe. A beautiful gym too. I mean, tremendous amount of mat space. They had a cage in there as well. Uh, Syndicate, definitely, I would check it out if you guys are in Las Vegas. Um, as for me, when I was rolling, I, I really, I like to specify my training. Like, uh, I don't just go in and go live. I usually have something specific that I like to work on when I'm training. Um, today, I really worked on hand fighting, and then once I got the top to top position. Uh, I really focus on using body lock steps or body lock passing to incorporate uh, towards my, my high step passing. So uh, Nikki Ryan has been doing this kind of cross step, high step passing that I'm trying to mimic. And it, honestly, it's coming, it's coming together pretty well. It's, it's starting to become more, more successful throughout the weeks. Um, and I'm looking forward to unveiling you know, that kind of high step passing in competition eventually. Um, in addition to that, all of our guys you know, trained today, trained pretty, pretty hard, pretty, pretty, uh, pretty smart. Um, I think when you're close to competition, it's a good idea to just kind of uh, kind of do what you're what you're gonna do in competition in practice. You know, go through the the similar positions that you're, that you're gonna see against an opponent, and just kind of replicate those movements. You know, I think when we're this close, you know, we're a day out from comp. It's like the work's already done. You're in shape. You're you're mentally ready. You're, you're physically ready, and it's just you know time to go out there and, and do what we do best. Usually, I train fasted, honestly, especially like today we trained at. Like 11:30 a.m. Um, so I like to wake up. I'll get some computer stuff done, and I'll go train. I feel like when I train fasted, I'm almost like a maybe I'm like a little sharper, or I don't know. I just I just I've been doing it for a, a little while, and I'm just accustomed to it. Like I can eat and train no problem, but something about like I f I feel like I earn my food a little bit when I train when I train first and then eat second. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like, like I, like because I trained, I'm like allowing myself to eat. You know, like I'm kind of a, a weird one. So you're simulating your hunt. I'm simulating my my hunt. Shout out Liver King. Simulating my hunt by training first and then eating second. Let's say Friday on Thursday. Thursday while we're out here in Vegas, we met up with uh, one of our friends, Ethan. Ethan Krellstein was doing a private, and then the guy from the private um, invited us to do some some doom buggy riding with cowboy Cerrone, but not like normal doom buggies like like 20 30 miles an hour you're talking like 85 90 miles an hour on the dirt on this supercar it's like it's a buggy but it's got wider bigger suspension bigger tires you know turbos um lots of horsepower i mean thing is ripping up dirt we caught some air while we were buggying um which was kind of unexpected but also pretty awesome uh, something I would look forward to doing again. 